Norman Silberdick, 70 Todd Mill Road. Uh, I have three items that I'd like to discuss. The first one relates to, uh, under new business, the waiver request on the Eaton Park ball field lights. As uh, there's, there's only one bidder on this project, which was approved five months ago and for $80,000 to uh, for the lighting system. And apparently there was one bidder uh, and one system pre-approved the Musco green generation lighting system and the way the bid went out if someone's going to propose an alternative bid they would have had three days to get the bid address the issues and get it to the town it just seems to me that we're going back to some what I would consider bad business practices by having one bidder so I went online today and I looked up um, ball field lighting contractors. Maybe there are more than just one existing, and by God, there are quite a few out there in New England, in New Hampshire, in Massachusetts, etc., who could bid on this. I'm not sure if we approach them or how the, the process works, or it has to be you send a, a bid notice out or someone has to come to you, but it just seems to me we're rushing on something and the selectmen should uh, delay this and make sure that we get proper alternative bids on this. This is, this is, to me, not exactly a critical item, but it's very important that we not, you know, that we do have a fair practice of for purchasing. The second item on my list was at one of the prior meetings. There was a discussion about the New Hampshire Municipal Association legislative policy recommendations, and uh, I believe there was supposed to be emails sent to the to the uh, town manager which and there's been no further word on it and I guess that the time period for comments from the selectmen has come and gone uh, because I think there was a time limit on it as I understand it and there were a couple of items that would have affected the taxpayers of Hampton and uh, I'm sorry to see that that happened because I think there should have been a thorough airing of what your thoughts were regarding uh, the potential uh, legislation whether you're up or down for it and my final item was I had a chance to look at the proposed warrant articles that haven't been reviewed by you yet, but that are coming out for spending. And I just hope that there is a significant amount of due diligence and financial justification because there is a substantial amount of spending. And for our group, we watch all this for rational taxpayers of Hampton. We want to make sure those things that we'll support or we won't support have a thorough and complete airing. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.